What's up, everyone? What's up, fans? Welcome to the show. There is a huge report going around on Roman Reigns. Vince McMahon is still upset with Roman Reigns over the failed drug test. Now, it sounds like Roman Reigns' violation of WWE's wellness policy may have lasting effect on his career. In the last edition of Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer reports that Reigns is still in a series hot water with the chairman of the board of WWE, Vince McMahon. Now, Meltzer reports that Vince is very upset with Reigns for failing his drug test after giving Reigns the ball to run uh, with the WWE programming. You know, he, you know, Roman Reigns is not the guy for the company. He's just not a good performer. He's not good in the ring. I am not a fan of Roman Reigns. And Vince McMahon is upset. You know, the reason why he's upset, because Vince McMahon loved Roman Reigns. Because he was big. He was jacked. Brock Lesnar, he was big. He was jacked. Vince McMahon liked him, so he pushed him. And, you know, WWE keeps pushing Roman Reigns down our throats. But here's the thing that's going on, guys. Meltzer expects that Reigns will be a main character on TV. With... Well, WWE will no longer push him as the top guy. So what's going on is, if then, so Vince is actually gonna give people more of an opportunity and give it to someone else. They're not gonna give Roman Reigns that main event spot no more. They're gonna give it to somebody else now instead of him. And I think that's a good idea because, in my opinion, Roman Reigns is not champion material. He's not the guy for that company. But I will tell you this, okay. I've been complaining about it, and you guys have been complaining about it too. Roman Reigns needs to turn heel. I want to see the bad guy of Roman Reigns. Even if he's a heel or a babyface, I won't support him. But I will tell you this. He needs to be a bad guy in that company. And this is the reason why, you know, I want him to be the bad guy. People say, well, why do you want him to be the bad guy? You know, why, what's wrong with him being a what's wrong with him being a babyface? Because as a babyface, one, it, he's not doing a good job, and he's not doing a good job in the ring. You know, he can't perform right. Okay, they gotta repackage Roman Reigns. If he's gonna be a heel, they gotta get rid of the they gotta get rid of his music. They gotta get rid of the stupid suit thing because he's not in the shield no more. That thing is gone. Okay, turn him heel. Be, make him be a bad guy. You know, like Stone Cold. When Stone Cold was a bad guy, beating the crap out of people. He wasn't that corporate guy. You know, that's what Austin was. He was the bad guy. Beating everybody up in the Attitude Era. Beating up Vince McMahon. You know, beating the crap out of him. And taking the beer truck and spraying the Vince McMahon and the rock and stuff. He was a bad guy. I like the Stone Cold as a bad guy than a baby face in my opinion. And trust me, if you take Roman Reigns as a baby face... That's going to be good because one, you know, he's like, he can say like, you know what, I'm Roman Reigns, I'm a bad guy. You know, Roman Reigns goes through the company, just beats the crap out of people, doesn't take crap from nobody, you know, has the nice fancy watches and the suits and everything and, you know, having that badass character. That will make money for WWE and that will draw people to like Roman Reigns. That will like that will make people love Roman Reigns if you make him be a bad guy. Make that badass character, that badass Samoan wrestler, Roman Reigns. That is what they should be doing with him. He needs to be that heel because I think it's going to be better for him. It's going to be better for the WWE. And if he's going to be a heel, change his move sets as well. If he's going to be heel. But like failing the drug test, man, you know, you got to know the rules when you're a WWE superstar, okay? You can't, You got to know the rules. When you sign up to be a superstar, you know the rules, okay? You know the wellness policy rules. When you sign up for the WWE, WWE goes over the wellness policy. You know the rules. You know what's going to happen. You know what you're going to do. If you screw up, you know what's going to happen. You know you're going to get punished for what you did. And he got punished for it. So I think it's time, you know, let Roman Reigns off the spotlight now and give other people a chance now. Let people 
give people a chance because now Vince McMahon is finally understanding that we do not like Roman Reigns and he needs to turn heel. That's what I'm that's what they should be doing. Cause this baby face thing, it's not working for Roman Reigns. But this is a report going on that he's upset. I'd be upset too, you know. You know, Vince McMahon loved him. He was he wanted him to be the top guy of the company. And then when he found out he failed the drug test, you know, but they kept pushing him. They kept pushing Roman Reigns, even though he failed the drug test. And if he didn't fail the drug test, you know Dean Ambrose would not be WWE champion. So until then guys. You let me know in your comments below. Do you want to see Roman Reigns turn heel? You let me know in the comments below, guys. I think it, it's a better idea right now. This is what I think they should be doing, and that's turn him heel. I'll see you guys later. Make sure to check out my thing about the tag team, guys. They're splitting up the tag team. It'll be up there in the station, guys. Go check it out. Until then, guys, I'll see you later. Subscribe. Hit that like button, guys.